Hey, what's up everybody? Michael the Ark here. Today we are out here on Barunga Savannah and I have been asked to bring you a lion hunting guide. Now I'm not going to actually do any hunting that I know of in this particular episode, but I am going to show you my strategy, what works for me, and this is going to be tons and tons of cash for you. In my opinion, if you get a good lion hunt going, you actually are going to make more money this way than any other way in the game, including goose hunting. So let's go ahead and let's get into it. First off, I want to show you the weapons that are viable for lions with the ammo. And we are going to do that here in the store. So... The 300th, either one, the Magnum Frontier or the Magnum Marches. Either one of those is going to be your best weapon for lion hunting. Uh, it's going to allow you to take down multiple lions sometimes and have four shots and defend yourself, basically. Uh, the 7mm will work. The Coachmate 4570 will also work and they are all viable however i would absolutely recommend 300 over all of those you are also going to be able to hunt lions with the king either one of them they will kill lions really fast but you have to be really close and there's it's really hard to use the sight with this to actually hunt lions so i don't really suggest it very much now another weapon that you can use is actually the Range Master, either one of them. And this gun does kill them quick. Uh, it's just as good as the 300 as far as putting down lines, but I feel that the 300 is a little bit more accurate. And this is a single shot weapon. Uh, <clears throat> they are very good, but again, they just don't have the, the ammo reserves to take backup shots or to take multiple animals out at one time. If you're defending yourself with this, it's not going to be the best idea. And as far as rifles go, that is all. With handguns, you have a single option, and that is the Rhino 454. You definitely want to go with the flat nose hard cast bullet for this, if you possibly can. Now, I would absolutely recommend the Gosshawk for this as well, but the hollow point is going to do the job, but it's not as deadly to lions, and they will go down much slower than if you shoot them with the flat nose hard cast bullet. So, you want that one there that says 100 on penetration. Now, shotguns, you're going to have... Uh, several choices no no no. you're gonna have one choice so well excuse me two choices you can use the grillic drilling rifle and use the rifle part of it to hunt lions and it is a good option because it has a scope on it now you're gonna have to be within about 165 yards uh you can do this up to 200 yards no problem still but it's going to be much more effective at about 165 yards or 150 meters. Uh, so those are one option. Now for the shotgun itself, you're going to have the Miller. And that is the only shotgun in this, the slug, the 10 gauge slug. It goes up to class 9. So those are your, your options as far as in the shotgun category just the miller for shotgun slugs and then the drilling rifle which is a, a double barrel shotgun and a rifle together and you can only use the rifle for the as the the 9.3 times 74 our big game cartridge as it says will be doable for this now as far as bows go any bow that there is can do it you just have to grab the proper ammo so you can use your longbow you can use the bear claw light or any of the other 
compound bows. You can use any of the frost bows. You can use any of the recurve bows. Any of these you can kill lions with as long as you come over here and you get the proper ammo. Now the proper ammo is going to be the 600 grain broadhead arrow for your compound bows, the 600 grain broadhead bolt for your crossbow, you could use tracers if you want it, and the 700 grain broadhead traditional arrow for your longbow and recurve bow. Now, these are going to be really good at killing lions, but you want to be up in a tripod or something like that, maybe out in the water or something. You don't want to get really close to a lion. Otherwise, I will say um, I have done the challenges and everything, and it is completely doable. It's actually a lot safer to hunt a lion with a bow than it is with a shotgun. Uh, the handgun will drop them quicker than the shotgun will, but the arrows are going to drop them really quick most of the time. And you're, with arrows, you're going to have like a 50% chance of dying as well. I would say with the shotgun, you have about a 90% chance of dying, and the handgun, about 50% as well. With your rifle, you're not going to have any problems with that. So for rifle ammo, you always want to go with the polymer tip. And that should cover everything you need to know about the weapons for lion hunting. Next up, I'm going to take a look at the map and show you where all of the lion hunting spots are for drink zones now. So we're going to start up here at the top. This lake right here is really good for lion hunting. And you're going to find lions all around here, all around here, and then back up here and down along here. I uh, come to this outpost and run down here to hunt them. This is one of my absolute favorite zones. Moving on, we have three lakes right here. So we're going to start here. This I call Lion Lake, and for the most part, it is really good for me. I have, I just come in from the lodge, and I have a tripod set up over here. And with this tripod, I can use it to hunt the lions that come down here behind or below a tree. They'll be right at the maximum zeroing distance, about 328 to 340 away. And when you get down here, uh, you will be able to hunt them. Now, there are going to be lions right around here as well, but usually they're just far enough away that they don't hear you if you shoot from here. You actually got you actually have lions all around here and right in here sometimes as well. So what I have done is I have also put a tent and a tripod right here, and I can come in from there and hunt this zone fairly well and hunt this side. And then I don't really hunt this side very much. I try to spook them out purposely because that way they'll go over to this side usually. The next lake is right here, and I just have a tent far enough away that they won't spook when I come in. But I have, now there's a stand here already, but there, it's not a very good stand and then I have put a tripod down a little bit lower, and that allows me to hunt all the way down here at the end. Now this is also a really, really good warthog lake as well. This lake is very iffy. Uh, you can come in from here, but it's a long trek, so I have put a tent right here, and I come in here. Sometimes we have lines up in this side, and then right here is usually where we have the most of it. So uh, it would, instead of putting your tripod or whatever where I have this one, it would actually probably be more beneficial to put it on this side. It's just extremely hard to see these. Now coming down here, we have at this level, we've got two right here. Both of these lakes, now as you see, I have a tent here and I can just run straight up here. Uh, at this lake, you're going to have them all around on the sides and the 
the top up here usually. And then with this one, I just come in from this way. Uh, if I'm not mistaken with this one, they're going to be right in this area or up in here. I have seen several really big ones right here and then smaller ones usually up in this area. So they are all over there. But if they're down in this area, they spook very easily. So you might want to come in a little early and wait for them to come in. I have a tripod here specifically because it is the only spot that allows me to see over here most of the time. So I'm going to go over here to what I call the North Carolina Lake because it looks like North Carolina turned up on its side. And if you look i have a tent right here this tent is actually a little bit too close it should probably be back up in here but it works out for me i you can either just come down here to this hunting stand you can go to this one but it's not all that great um what i like to do though is just come up here and then come down the side of this and there's usually lions around here there's sometimes lions right in here there's usually lions right in this area and right in here as well. And sometimes there are some right in this area. So I have killed a bunch of lions just out of this hunting stand, though. Uh, it is a pretty good lion lake. Down here we have another one. And you just come in from this direction. And I just hunt usually down around the end here, if I recall correctly is where they spawn. So I have a tent here and I have a tent here. And this is what I call the double or the twin lion lake. And every place that has pressure down right now is actually a lion zone. And right here is a really good one. There's also usually one here. Uh, this is a really good one most of the time as is this right here can be sometimes. So, uh, this one should probably be a little bit further away, maybe right up in here, and I could come down here and jump in my tripod and hunt across here or right here. Uh, this tripod is actually for hunting other things, usually Gimsbach, uh, but this one here is a good place to, you get here and you come down here, jump up in there, a tripod and you can spot all around because there's going to be some down here sometimes like I said and then over here and you can at least spot them and then go down to the water and take out what you need to do. All right so down here at the very bottom uh, we're going to start over here. Now some people have lions right here at this lake. I have never had lions at this lake personally. Uh, but some people do have them here. Now, where I have them is right down in this area. They actually drink right here. This is a drink zone for them. And then they get done drinking, and they come up here and go to sleep about right in here. So this area down here is really good for lions when in their drink zone but they will kill you there's usually two packs of them or two prides of them and they will kill you fairly quickly if you come down here messing with them this lake has none i've never seen a line there but this lake this is a the zabotolo outpost and you come down this hill and start spotting around this area and you usually start seeing some if they're going to be there. I found a bunch of them um, right over here. And then there's several all around this side, kind of. I have seen them. It changes based on the updates, pretty much. Now, I have heard that either out here or up in here somewhere that there is a lion drink zone. But I have never found it myself. I cannot confirm that. Um... But that is going to be all of the zones that I know of personally. So, now, the next thing that you want to know about actually hunting lions is 
that you need to, when you go hunt lions, if you don't have a tripod or you, even if you do have a tripod, you see how my map has pressure all over it. You don't want your pressure to be everywhere like that. So what you want to do is go around and I will show you other spots now. If you come here and you just come to this outpost and you start down here and you look down here, there's going to be rabbits everywhere, uh, scrub hairs everywhere along through here, okay? So now you do have to go through a line zone sometimes to get there, but come down here and hunt the scrub hares. Come up here to this lake and hunt the buffalo on this side. And right here is a massive sleep zone for everything. Just about everything in the game except for lions sleep right here. And they feed here and they drink here. So this is a wonderful lake to clear pressure, but pressure goes down very fast here. The next place I would highly recommend putting yourself a tent here, put yourself a tripod right out about here, and then, yep, yeah, just come down here and hunt uh, Cape Buffalo. And it's the best thing to do is to get them angry and get them to go aggressive and come for you and hunt them, hunt them, hunt them. Now, up through here as well as Cape Buffalo, there is another drink zone right in here somewhere. Uh, down all around here is going to be Cape Buffalo as well. And right in here is a good kudu zone on every map I've ever seen. Uh, if you want to, you put you a tent right about here at this lake. Come here at nighttime. Or if you come in the daytime, you can usually find kudu, I think. But at nighttime, this is Springbok heaven. And so, uh, at nighttime from uh, zero hundred hours to 430, you're going to find lesser kudu. But otherwise, you're going to usually find... Let's see if I, if I find it here. It's not going to show me. Springbok from 1500 to 1930. And it's all through all of these places, or all of them. This is the best Springbok location on the entire map. And I would highly recommend using it to take out pressure from all of your line zones. If you're going to set up a routine, it's great to start with one place and always go in a loop go through all of the different ones and then go get your pressure gone and go buy more ammo and then go back reset your time again and go back and start doing your loops again and that is how you do lion hunting here on the hunter call of the wild i hope that this helps i know that there's not any hunting in it so it might be a little boring to some people, but I was asked to do it this way and just show the maps. So that is what I have done. I hope that it does help, and I will see y'all in the next one.